Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and the new alchemy set for Bloomboro just dropped, so we're playing alchemy today on the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel. Alchemy underwent a rotation, so if you are tired of Sheldred, well, there's a place where that has rotated, and that place is, in fact, alchemy. So the new cards are really getting to shine over here, and there are some powerful ones. I'm playing bats. Bats are always a good call against the aggressive meta of the MTG Arena Mythic Ladder. And Bat's got a number of new toys that I'm really excited to try out, starting with Three Tree Battalion. If you're a fan of Collected Company and want something on that power level in a card pool similar to Standard, this is a card that could draw you to Alchemy. Three and a white for an instant rare. Look at the top six. Sounds familiar. You may put a, a creature card with mana value three or less from among them onto the battlefield, then conjure a duplicate of that card onto the battlefield. The duplicate perpetually has base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. Put the rest on the bottom in a random order. So right away, one of the problems with Collected Company is you have to run, uh, the mathematicians will tell you, like 27 creatures or more to get double hits off your Collected Company. With three tree battalion you can run less creatures because you only need one you really want a good number of three drops because you want maximum value and you don't want all of them to be legendary because the one one we'll call it an offspring that gets created by three tree three tree battalion uh can't have the same name and stick on the battlefield but this card at instant speed hitting you potentially two enters the battlefield effects or just two really good cards that synergize in your deck is incredibly powerful and it's awesome in bats because bats actually gained a removal spell in that spot dark star banisher is one and a white and a black for a 2-2 bat cleric rare from alchemy and the flying and when it enters exile target non-land permanent mana value three or less and opponent controls of course there's a downside when this leaves the battlefield the exiled card's owner seeks a card that shares a card type with the exiled card that's way better than them just getting it back on the battlefield for free so we will take that every time dark star banisher is sure to be a absolutely clutch card in alchemy and it'll probably make waves in brawl as well as just a really good body that removes something uh also coming in new card sanguine soothsayer this is one in a black for a two one flying lifelink and when it attacks conjure a sanguine bond into the top 15 cards of your library and it perpetually gains you may pay zero <laughs> to cast it and when this permanent enters draw a card that that is absolutely wild sneaking sanguine bond into your deck getting like to cast it for free for free and also getting to draw a card the idea that you get a few attacks in with this and then you might be able to chain sanguine bonds is the dream it gives this deck a whole different ceiling as a burn deck and it's a very powerful effect so i'm really excited to try out these new cards after that, you look at some of the more famous bats in the meta, like Aklazad, Zoraline, the Dark Star Augur, Dark Confident with an offspring on a bat. And you start to see that there's just a lot of great things going on. I didn't even mention Deep Cavern Bat. This card is ubiquitous across many formats now, and you get to play it in this standard deck as well. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. We're going to dive in, and we're going to let some bat nonsense begin. Bats, bats, bats so addicted to bats we have an opponent and we have turn one case or rune lurker turn two yep we're we're doing it let's get right to work rune lurker back coming at ya a red deck perfect <laughs> exactly what we wanted to face courtyard soothsayer if it this is one of the new cards so if this attacks conjure a sanguine bond into the top 15 at random it perpetually gains pay zero rather than the mana cost when it enters draw our opponent is doing heart fire hero boros mouse stuff that can be a lot of damage there's nothing about this that's easy but here comes zoraline and we're going to gain a lot of life to race a lot of damage so we go back up to 22, but I am kind of terrified at how much damage they might deal with the hero. 
They have Prairie Survivalist, 01 Flying. At the beginning of combat, target creature perpetually gets plus one plus O. Choose a creature card in your hand. It perpetually gets plus one plus O. Scary. It's gonna be some big strong stuff. What we need to do is buy time to draw the Sanguine Bond. We know it's in the top 15, and each time we attack, another one goes in there. Okay, they're being a little cautious. No blocks. Life total go down. Another land. No, that's very bad. That's very, very bad. And this gets back a non-land permanent? Yep. So we don't have anything currently going to the graveyard, but they might block this, which we could then get back with Zoraline the next turn, which is fine. Then I guess we're going to combat. We're playing a case and we're playing a Restless Fortress. This is a bad turn. We could also sack the village and play the case, which might be better than the fortress. Let's be honest, the fortress is too expensive. Triggers. We have to decline on that one. We gain the life. Does the survivalist want to block? The Zora line? I didn't expect that. Oh no, what is it? What do you have? Rage? Is the Zora line gonna die? Yeah, that's good for them. We will get a scry. We have gained enough life for the case to be solved this turn, so we want to play that. Let's play the case. Let's play the land. Let's sack the village now. Aklazots? Uh, but it's five mana. We're going to need a play for next turn. I guess we have the case that's solved. We can get back Zoraline next turn. Let's grab the big bat god. And we've got a turn or two. Oh, 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 it's happening. It's on top. It's happening. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I'm at 22 and I'm afraid they're going to kill me. This is the new mouse, right? Whenever one or more mice you control, attack, draft a recruiter. Something from Spellbook. Yeah, there's an Ember Cleave in there. Let's just put it that way. Let's just assume they get Ember Cleave. The Spellbook is dense with a lot of combat tricks, but there is one that's not like the others. They don't have the mana cast an Ember Cleave right here, right now, though. Mm hmm. I mean, they must have picked up a good trick, something they can cast for one. Of course, they're also a monstrous rage type, a might of the meek type. Yep, that works as well. We're going to take 11. This is fine. <laughs> We're just going to keep gaining life, right? It'll be fine. Sanguine Bond for zero. And I draw a card. Come on, deck. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. Well, feels bad, but I think we do have to get back to Zoraline. And we are going to, we are going to deal some damage here. Another bomb goes in. A drain, a drain, a hit, a hit, a gain, a gain, a drain, and a drain. They are down to five. And we scry. Sure, I'll take a playable card. That sounds delightful. Can they kill me? I'm at 16. I'm probably blocking. Because if we get to attack next turn, they lose to the Sanguine Bond. But did they get Ember Cleave? Did they get Ember Cleave? I shouldn't have taken Aklazots. I got blinded by the giant bad god. I got excited. Yep, yep, yep. Another look. Another look for the cleave. We had that one turn. That one turn in the middle where we played the case that was very mediocre, where the flood cost us. Will they be able to capitalize? I mean, you have... It's best of one. You have to be hitting on every turn. It feels so bad when you have a tough turn. All right. They have selected a card. I am blocking the big one. No trample. That's trample. 
Okay. And then? Mabel's medal is triggers. Okay, do they have it? 11, 8, 9, oh, they got it. Yeah, that one turn. There was one turn where we had to sack the village. It cost us everything. Ah, next time. We have the battalion, thank goodness. And we go first, thank goodness. All right, we're cooking. Courtyard. Then probably deep cavern bat, cleric. Where were you last turn? Lazy. That's okay. You fit into our curve next turn. Uh, bunny wabbits. Um, let's take one of the quest callers. They'll play the other one. We can virtue it and play a bat. And keep them off balance. We draw the land. I'm going to try holding the Starscape Cleric for offspring because that fits our curve potentially. It's not as aggressive, but against rabbits. Against rabbits, I don't feel like we have to go as fast as humanly possible. Caretaker's Talent's a good card, but it takes time to get cooking. Ooh, non-land permanent. Oh! Do I go for that or do I go for the battalion? I go for the battalion, baby. I want to try the battalion. And it's instant speed, so we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Oh, I'm so excited. Alchemy White Collected Company. Are you kidding me right now? There's a war leader. Let that resolve. The Banisher's got that in the bag, but now we do this. All right, two Zora lines or two clerics. Obviously, two Zora lines isn't very good, but two clerics? Insane. Train, 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 train. And banish. No more talent. So if this dies, well, if it leaves the battlefield, they seek a card that shares a type. Uh, an enchantment. They have another one. <laughs> the bunny wabbits. And you have the vigilance on this from the pollen shield hair hair raising adventure <laughs> they draw we have a free block here go down to 22 there are eight this should be a lethal attack on the way back if they don't have something for one mana right here they don't have it hmm what a card what a card on the play soothsayer sure no one drop it happens but the Soothsayer is one of the cards, uh, along with the Banisher, that we really want to feature. Along with Three Tree Battalion, so it's new card Bonanza. Parlor into the bin. Is this going to be the token deck? How do we feel about the token deck? I'm hoping that Three Tree Battalion really shifts that matchup. So they go Sunfall, but then I'm like, I rebuild. Nope, this is Mice, I think. When it enters, conjure a card named Might of the Meek to your hand. Whenever it becomes the target spell or ability for the first time, put a counter on it. Yeah. Okay, they are ready to cook. Do we have to just take the creature off the board, or do we get out Zoraline? I think we get out Zoraline. Bat. Start the life gain. Arm goes in. Life gets gained. Top 15 is a lot. There's a lot of cards. <laughs> but if I get to double bond at some point, I'm going to be so excited. So the mice got us last time. They did so much damage to us. But this time we really don't have like a dead turn coming up. That's a double striker. We take. Next turn's going to be scary, but we're going to leave up all our mana and force them to play carefully. Nothing in the graveyard to get. Hits. Pass. We'll see what they do. We both have all of our lands. Here comes Emberheart Challenger. They're gonna Might of the Meek, the Heartfire Hero. Activate Prowess. Draw a card. 
We have one mana left. It can only be used to cast creatures. So they're essentially tapped out in combat here, which means we can try to block ambush them, which is so fun. All right, wait for attackers. Mm hmm. We cast the battalion. We hit two of these. No way. All right, we don't have any good blocks here, so let's just take out their good creatures. I think these two are the best targets. No blocks. Oh, I could have blocked with this and then gotten it back with Zorline. Is that good? It's interesting, right? All right, Channeler. Get rid of the Meadow Guard. Combat. Bond goes in. Triggers. 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 Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Come at me, you little rodents. <laughs> it tallies favor. That's an interesting one. I remember when people were trying to make that work early on in the Ixalan mono red decks. And look at that, favor into favor. What are you doing? Wait, where does it stop? Shove aside, a removal spell, brilliant. Zorline, no! I mean, that's, that is a turn. And then now you can give it double strike. That is impressive. I will take 14. It is but a scratch. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love the bats, man. I love the bats so much. On the draw, we have a removal spell and we have plays. I'll keep it. Virtue Persistence, very helpful on the draw for catching up when your opponent comes out guns blazing. Although this opponent is just going to drop a swamp and pass. You have to assume if they're this high in Mythic that they are used to the aggro matchups and they're probably running a very high amount of removal. This is not where the Soothsayer is good. In fact, playing into this board is probably just playing something to get removed. So I'm going to try the Soothsayer. And the Soothsayer is very unlikely to actually create a Sanguine Bond. Although they didn't kill it just now. I assume to go for the Throat, Cut Down, or something like it for sure. There it is. Titan Blade. Removed. Hopeless Nightmare. It's a vibe. Do we keep a Virtue? We definitely keep the lands. You want to make sure against discard decks you keep your lands. Virtue is good against Braids, which this looks like a Braids deck. But if the opponent had braids, would they have just... No, they wouldn't have. They would not have just played it. So let's discard the channeler. I'm sure that looks weird to some people, but I think it's the play. That's a good draw. It makes them use removal again. Or else we get back the channeler. So they can't just drop a braids here if they have it. Wait, was braids Dominaria? Did that rotate? Don't, don't talk. Just don't worry about me. I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not here. Let's pass. We got three tree battalion open. So this is a viper deck, right? This is going to play the snake. Virtual persistence against mono black is still game over if you can get it. But now we're getting hit with a discard two. So I think we just let these two go. And we're really hoping to hit a dark star auger and rebuild card advantage. Mm, two bats or two soothsayers getting two sanguine bonds i'll take the bats uh, they're all bats the deep cavern bats sorry when i say the bat it's always deep cavern bat what the heck is this each player sacrifices x creatures no and what's this other thing this is uh, when it enters, if you cast from hand, one damage for each swamp you control. They're, they're stuck on three mana, and this is another two-mana destruction spell. All right, 
We have left them with two five drops and they have three mana, which means they're probably going to have a bad turn next turn, which is huge for us. So hopefully this time the battalion hits a really good bat. A dark star would be amazing to draw more cards. And here comes the Vine Lasher. Sure. We got choices. I mean, one a Zora line. It's only one Zora line, right? We could take the bat and take their last two cards. <laughs> Is that better than a Zora line? I think Zora line's best, even though the offspring will be bad. Yeah, we 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 keep you. Hey, rewarded. Bring back. I mean, I'm not really worried about anything on this board, which tells you how well we're doing. Give me the channeler. It's gonna be huge. And uh, give me your Aklazots. Cause you know, I'm the bat deck, not you. I will lose life. And that's a scoop. They're dead in the air to the Chandler next turn because we lose life with the Zorline trigger. So that's how Essence Chandler gains flying. Bats, bats, bats. Mono red, probably. When you see that avatar, I don't know about you, I see red. <laughs> uh, sure, we have to draw land, but we'll draw land. We run a reasonable amount of land. We run 24 land. There's no way we're gonna draw like five drops and three drops and not draw land. It's impossible. Shuffler wouldn't do me like that. I'm a content creator. I get all the good treatment from the Shuffler. That's just true. See? I tried to tell you. Some of you didn't believe me. So the mono red decks of today often don't even run like shock. They run like combat tricks. So we just play out our stuff. I mean, what's holding priority is probably a monstrous rage. They just plotted a show off. Oh boy. All right. Got to be careful with the auger against red. But Zoraline, go to work. They're going to be on a quick clock and our life total is going to be going the wrong direction if you're in their seat. They're at 12, we're at 24. I've seen show off hit for 20 in this spot, but not 24. That would be new. Kaka. Double Kakaw. Double attack. No blocks. I'm not afraid. What you gonna do? Have some monstrous rage? Have some might of Damik? Cool. We go to 18. We draw land perfectly. But this, I think, is about the Banisher. Bring out the Banisher. Get one of these show offs off the board and swing. Drain, 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 hit, 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 life, drain. You're at two. Now what? They've got to do 22 through two creatures with one show off. They do run shock. Magical. All right, they seek a creature still probably a great deal for us because they have to cast it again now and they're swinging uh i'll leave it to you deal 22 show us what you got <laughs> i bet they are raging life gain is cheat life gain too strong life gain unbeatable Bring on the mono red. I can do this all day. Yet another classic mono red avatar 
Is this the ladder? Well, whatever it is, we're coming for it with bats. I mean, you just have to, you have to spam the life gain deck until they chill. Oh, look at that. It's something else. They've got something else cooking. What is this? One damage. What kind of deck is this? Red, green, crime? Let's get a look. I need to take a peek. What's going on in there? Breakout. Uh-huh. Uh, reach, conjure, savage stomp, conjure, naturalize? What? Scale speaker shepherd. It's dinosaurs. Okay, so this is their play next turn. Let's take it. Let's make them top deck a two drop. If they have to take a turn off, often that tempo is enough to win. Door line. The value begin. When that reach creature comes out, we've got to banish it. So, dinosaurs cost one less, and they draft a card from the spell book, which is a dinosaur, basically. None of these block my thing, but I think we still remove this because reducing cost is cheap, especially on dinosaurs that are very powerful. And we go for the aerial assault. Take him out. Before those big meanies come out, this is a reach body. So we're gonna have to banish it. And they do get a savage stomp, so they have removal. Ooh, battalion. It's not the best use of mana, but I think we'll go for the banisher for the for sure removal. Oh, that doesn't work. What have I done? Oh no, what have I done? It's three or less. All right, well, we gotta go for it now. They can block the Zora line for sure, but we've gotta go for it. Our deck does a thing, we have to do the thing. Oh, they want the breakout back. Okay, that's cool because Zoraline can get that bat back next turn potentially, although it might get stomped here. I have blown it. I was just used to this removing absolutely everything all the time. I, a four mana creature in alchemy? I thought this wasn't possible. Oh, they have tap green. Okay, they kind of had a bad turn there. Let's see what we hit. I think we do it now. I think we do it now. Okay, Zora line, two essence chandlers. Love that, or two of these bats. But that's not getting in, right? We need to get in. We need to be attacking our opponent. Let's take the chandler. Two chandlers can really help keep the pressure on. Another sanguine bond in the deck. We just want the life gain trigger. Yep, trigger, trigger. We have to somehow get through. So we're just throwing things into this Vantasaur, which is, what? Okay, okay, this is fine. We go to 31 and we put a counter on the Banisher. Free Sanguine Bond! The burn, the burn strategy is coming out. Oh man, did I want another one? All right. Let's see what we get. Oh, well, our choice is this, which is honestly not what we were really looking for, but we have options. They block here, they kill that. They kill that. Yep, no, no good. No, that was the worst three tree battalion I've had. And it came at a terrible time. But next turn, they block here. They take five. We need a life gain source. Another one. No, not a naturalize. Oh, what a perfect card. What a beautiful card. I'm going to put Wingbang Vantasaur in every deck. We could block and put a counter, but there's two reach creatures. We need to get this up to a 5-6 to compete. I have to take it. Virtue. Virtue's kind of huge. 
Essence Chandler. And then is it an attack all? I think it's just attack with this. Good choice. I think they smell something fishy. Kill it. Trigger, trigger. Ah, but at this stage in the game, they have to be winning, right? They have to be. No! Okay, whiff. Whiff. I don't know what that even is. Okay, Ruby. Ruby's not that bad, right? Ruby's okay. If they attack, we can put some move some counters around, but they're at eight now. Oh. This this thing is a monster. Alright, that is a raccoon. Yeah, block with all these, make this a five five doesn't really get us anywhere. Let's hold. We're down to twenty-one. We draw a card that will not help us. Uh let's sack you. Cash you in for a bat, a sanguine soothsayer. Uh, let's take a deep cavern. And let's take away Watley. What's in the graveyard dino wise? No, they can't get, they, we can't let them have that back. We have to take the paleontologist. We can't let them have that back. And then we're still chilling. Not enough life gain in this deck at this moment. And a Zor line would be clutch. And then they top decked another Carnosaur? And they hit a shove aside. What do they target? What do they target? No, I need that. Oh my gosh. They top decked Carnosaur. Brutal. So brutal. Oh man, Zor line would do it though. I need to get these in the air, right? And then they have to block here and they take six, seven, seven, eight. Yeah, it would do it. We hold, hold Zorline off the top one time. That's not it. That is not it, you guys. You can get them to six. And then they block here, block here. enough life gain there just wasn't enough life gain in this draw all right am i dead i'm dead right because i block here i block here take 14 let's see what they do maybe they'll be afraid to attack Uh-huh. They just play it right and play another of these freaking Vantasaurs. I, I've never seen this card on the battlefield until today. Um, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in it. <laughs> that, that's my dinosaur right there. Yep, you got it. Yeah, yeah, stomp it up. I don't think they'll be afraid to attack. Here. I am sending you a message. Man, also messing up the Dark Star Banisher. I just got so used to it being like game over, right? But it's not. <laughs> it's not. Dark Star Banisher uh, hits things three or less, and you know what's immune to this entirely? Dinosaurs. Wow. The ultimate anti meta.